Hey guys, we're just gonna jump right into it. So, how have y'all been? Uh, oh my gosh, I've been like such a roller coaster of emotions this week. Uh, but I've been looking forward to this. Um, but no, I did not get to do it when I thought I was gonna do it. Dude, I swear to God, every time. Oh, I thought I was gonna do it. I got like, oh, just the worst luck. Like I get sick when I, I was just up, just throwing up. It was just the worst. But uh, and on top of that, for some reason, I just could not get my emotions in check. But uh, this is probably the best mood or emotion I'm going to be in. So I'm like, let's do it. I miss you Woo! guys. Let's check in. So I hope you're doing good. Let's get into the wigs real quick. Let's try them on. I'll put a link for the last video. Uh, if, if you're interested, I just I ordered some wigs off Timu. So we're going to try them on because I'm going to be using them for hair cutting. And this is my first time ever with wigs. I've never, I've done extensions and stuff, but I've never actually physically put on a wig or bought a wig or even done Halloween wigs. I just haven't. So this will be fun. And like I said, this is my first time ever trying them on, but we're going to be using them for hair cutting. So I got two different kinds. And after doing some due diligence or research, um, I was reading that there's like, you know, so many different kinds because, you know, I love learning and research and stuff. So I found there's like a lot of different kinds, um, which I kind of figured, but I mean, there's a lot that goes into like the different, you know, maybe kind of caps you're going to use your wigs. Some have elastic bands, some have clips. So I do actually happen to have on accident two different kinds. So that'll be fun to kind of go through. Um, and then we'll try them on and then we'll see what kind of haircuts, you know, just leave comments below. Let me know if you are already a subscriber, then you kind of know what's going on and much love to you. Nice seeing you again. Hope you're hanging in there. And um, if you are not, then uh, please subscribe because, uh, you know, just trying to keep everything positive, you know, keep much as much love going around the world and uh, just kind of get through it together. And uh, I just... I don't know, I just do a lot of random stuff that makes my heart happy, hoping it'll make other people's hearts happy. You know, uh, I'll probably be dyeing my hair again real soon and bleaching it because I just can't uh, have it stay one way for too long. I just, uh, I'm addicted to colors and doing my hair. I don't have anyone's hair to do anymore because of my health problems, so this is a really fun way to be able to, these wigs will be a fun way to kind of get that part of my creative expression out since i no longer able to actually do other people's hair this one i'm really excited it's just oh god we might as well get into it i've been petting it like a cat that tells you a lot so this is my first one this is the green one and this is going to be the one with the hair clips already kind of built into it and it's a i want to say i wrote this stuff down because my memory is so bad Oh, God, I gotta catch my breath. Just take a minute, guys. I was so excited to come in here and shoot the video, and now I can't even catch my breath. Oh, I'll read to you, though. I don't have my glasses because my handwriting's so awesome. So this one is the dark green. It's 26 inches. Here's the picture in the description here if you guys want to check that out. Remember, these are the team of wigs. If you were here for the last video, you know you know that. So it's a synthetic fiber and it was, they had it listed as a middle part natural heat resistant synthetic wig. It's 26 inches. It was like, had 4.6 stars and the um, reviews were pretty decent, but it is a synthetic wig, but we're, I'm more worried about hair cutting and mind you, I've never cut hair on a wig either. So this is all fun. This is all for you guys, you know, for me, I, it helps me. It's a good therapy for me. I'm getting a lot of stuff out. You know, and it's just really helping me um, just kind of, uh, you know, just feel better, feel good. And um, I just love hanging out with you guys at the same time, you know. So, coffee, cheers to you and much love and subscribe if you haven't. And I'm going to take a big breath. And let's get started on trying on some wigs. All right, guys, let's get this hair up. I don't know why I thought long sleeves was a good idea. So let's get started. We got some wig caps. Um, and actually, speaking of wig caps, which wig do I want to try first? 
We don't need a cap. Okay, so this one has the wig clips, and I guess you don't need a cap for this one. So we're just going to start with that one, because the other one I believe I'm going to put a cap on. And I already got, luckily I already just told you guys the description on this one. We could see it's like a little bit more breathable. I want to say it was called like rose lace or something, but I know after looking some of these up online, uh, different wigs and stuff and styles, this one's going to be a lot more breathable and you can like see the hair through here. And this is a learning thing for me. This is uh this has all been a learning thing. So, and this will be a good way to tell if doing stuff like this can boost your serotonin because I have just been a hot mess of emotions not for any you know i i could tell you a million reasons why but i think at the end of the day there is just no real reason sometimes your body just decides hey so and if you also already have been around and watch our videos this is how the color is going it's smooth it's pretty it's soft and i still don't feel like the light in here really does justice because when i go out in public even when I'm, even when it's just me staring, because now my hair is long enough, I can stare at the ends. There's just so many different colors going on. It's like everywhere you look. It does, I, think, I feel like in the camera, it's got, it looks more like one color. But, you know, see, this is actually one color. And it really honestly looks very similar, but it's, it's not the same at all. You know, I'm honestly, I changed the white lighting in here. I wonder, do you guys know, I wonder, I've, I've been looking at like, I know Timo, of course, but they have like really cheap, honestly, those kind of ring lights, uh, you know, obviously a lot of creators use and stuff, um, but honestly, they're really cheap. But what I'm looking at is they do have a lot of these light settings. And I just wonder if that would really show some more of the depth of my hair. Um, but I, you know, honestly, but I think you really can't unless you go out in natural light anyway. So it's probably... It's probably not a big thing. I probably all won't need one of those until we start doing like some of the more hair coloring on some of the human hair wigs. Um, Cause that's when I'm at my mannequin stand and everything. I, I gotta save up for a lot of this stuff. So it's gonna be processed. You know, I'm a mom and I, I do have health problems. So, you know, I, I have to budget pretty, pretty well, but um, I am really excited. So just, you know, all good things take time. So like, just keep hanging out with me. I have a million, billion other ideas. And I just think with, um, uh, there's just really like the road is kind of just endless with this stuff. I mean, especially when you're constantly trying to work on yourself uh, at the same time every day, then, you know, just within that, trying to find different kind of networks and therapies that work for me and what I can do, not what I can't do kind of mentality. Um, I feel like the road's endless there as well. So, I mean, stick around, subscribe if you haven't, um, because, yeah, I don't know. I lost track, so I'm going to move on because once my brain is fried, it's fried. There's no going back. So I'm excited. We got the wig. This one. <laughs> That's a beautiful song. So we're going to brush this and I'm just going to, with the wigs from what I read, you're going to, or looked up, you're going to want to keep your hair as close and comfortable as you can, you know, to your head, obviously. And so I'm just going to kind of try to, for me, I'm used to like with my beanies and stuff, I already just kind of throw my hair up in a low bun with my beanies. Um... And for what we're doing today, since we're just trying it on for hair cutting, I'm not too worried. It's not like I'm going to be, you know, wearing it out per se. So I'm just going to try and get maybe as flat a bun as I can. And I'll probably just tuck this up in the wig. Like I said, I haven't done this before. I don't feel like that's tucked in enough. You guys, I'm actually, I'm actually like really nervous and excited because <laughs> I've never done this. And then keep in mind, because I keep going squirrel and forgetting. Okay, and there's also these. There's a clip underneath in the back. And then it looks like there's like these little kind of elastic attachments underneath. So this is the back here. There's like these attachments. And um, so this one actually might end up being a good hair cutting wig, depending. And I do have my heat styling tool. This, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But okay, and here's the front. I wonder if the best way is going to be like a beanie. I'm going to like put, put my head down. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to go from the front and put it on like a beanie. I think my head's going to be too big, guys. 
I think my head's, my hair. I'm gonna put my hair up more next time. The question is, will we be able to cut hair with this on my head? Because I don't want to cut it on a mannequin. Oh, this is very interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, this is the funniest thing. Oh, this isn't. Look at my hair is not even in it. I can't even look at myself. This is, how do you? Oh my Lord. This is definitely a learning thing. It's definitely going to be breathable. I can see my own hair through it. Not the front, but I can see it. So this is definitely going to be an adjusting thing. But we're... <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Those, those girls made this look so good in the pictures. I don't think this is meant for me. Bangs, maybe. Oh my gosh. I don't even look like a... <sighs> I can tell I have like this huge bump in the back of my head from my bun. This is what you get when you don't practice anything. You guys are trying this on for the first time with me. Look at the picture. Hey, I, I obviously didn't, I don't think I put this on correctly. Yeah, that's a little better. Maybe the hairline needs to go up a little more. Try to keep it on my natural hairline. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. All right, well, for hair cutting, <laughs> I think it'll be fine. As I really want to, and I'll, I'll make sure I have it secured better. It's, to be honest, maybe I should loosen those clips, but my hair, the way I have my hair in the back is what's bugging me. All right, so. I don't know, I don't know if you can. Now we gotta get a view of this. Okay, there we go. So, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's getting uh, tingled pretty easily, but I know that there's ways around that. And I do know to brush it more with the comb like this. So when we cut it, that's what we'll do. It doesn't have too many layers. It looks like there's like a long layer right here. But it, it all looks pretty long enough that we should be able to do the cut. Now I wonder if we'll be able to get bangs. Can we get bangs, guys? I think we can cut bangs too. You see how part I can't really see what's happening. I feel like cousin it from the Adams family. I think we'll be able to cut bangs too if you want. It has a middle part though. We'll find out. All right, what what haircuts? This is a lot of hair. Oh my lord. I think I'm foofing it too much. I probably should have kept it straight since we're gonna be cutting it. All right, what haircuts would you guys want to see on this? It looks it looks really silly. Why? I I don't know why in my head I thought I was gonna look like all the other girls when they put a wig on. And it's like dang. I just kind of look silly. All right, what's the back look like? All right, I'll stand up. So we're going to cut it. How do you guys want to cut this? Oh, my gosh. How do you guys want to cut it? Let me know. And I will work on the adjustment. But for now, we just wanted to see if it would work. Um, I'm not going to do heat on this one. Uh, let me see. So it says the heat attempt... Okay, so I wrote down the um, I wrote down the temperatures. I researched temperatures. It says for like the synthetic hair and stuff. First of all, you're gonna use a wide tooth comb when you brush it, and then uh, heat attempt. I don't know why I wrote attempt. 
my brain works weird, but it's, you're going to want to do like 260 degrees and maybe 270, 280 degrees. And so I ended up bringing out my, um, flat iron because it's the only thing I can kind of measure the temperature. This is old. I got off Amazon a long time ago. I mean, I think it's nice. I've only used it a few times. Uh, I must have gotten it off Amazon like four years ago or so. Um, just in case you guys are a little curious about that. So I will, I'll plug this in. I just see, because it said it should do, you know, it, it is synthetic and it said it should do that. I just want to see if it'll do like a little curl or something or not on here. So we, that way you guys will know when we cut it, if it's one that we can uh, heat style or not, if that'll help you decide with the cut. So let me know which uh, cut you want to do on this one. And I will make sure that I have my hair tied back properly and make sure it's properly adjusted because when we do it, I am going to be cutting it like on my head because whatever haircut or whatever you guys end up picking, I want it to be as realistic as possible to you trying to, you know, redo whatever we're testing out or haircut we're going to try at home. And, you know, as you guys know, I have a lot of health problems, you know, so anything that I try on here if if it works out for me or it's not too hard then for you it hopefully won't be too hard as well if that's anything to go off of because I uh I, and if you guys watch me you'll know if you see me do like a short where I just kind of braid my hair that's actually really really hard for me to do but I like doing it because it's pushing myself and so um I actually enjoy trying to do that kind of stuff but just so you know um full disclosure uh, some of the stuff I do and I don't do makeup a lot either but basically anything I do on here I try to make sure that you guys know uh, how easy it is for me to do if that's anything that helps you as well this is actually getting I'm getting more used to it and it's not so bad I'm actually kind of like um, not hating it so let's get this off and get the wig cap on and try the other one I believe I kind of already gave you guys uh, the online description and well here's the price one more time here's the picture I filled you guys in at the beginning so you can go back or whatever if you want on kind of the kind of wig it was and everything. And let's see if we're heated up to 260. Whoa, way hotter. Oh, mine doesn't even go that low. Wait, wait. 265, it'll have to do. That's as low as it'll go. So that's, that's pretty low, guys. Um, that is pretty low. As far as if you're gonna do a home, I almost pulled out like a big curly iron, and then I thought, no, that's not gonna work, you know, because I can't keep track of the heat. This is so fun. At first, I, I was I was kind of mortified, but I think this will actually be fun. And as long as I don't try to flu, I'm so used to floofing my regular hair, and this is more of a, you know, straight style. So wide tooth comb. I'm glad I saw that tip. And any other tips? Let me guys know. This is my first ever. And it's not as bad as I thought. It is super breathable, which is good for me. And, if, you know, I'll fix that next time. And you can't really see, but I can. There's, like, if you put your finger through, you can feel your hair. You can actually put your finger all the way down to your natural scalp and scratch it. So it's really breathable. There's a lot of that going on. And I think we're going to just... My dog is apparently pissing off the other dog. So I'll take a pretty big chunk and 265 here we go and i actually don't know anything about curling with a hair straightener i, I can do a video on that if you guys want <laughs> okay so i feel the heat on there doesn't smell like burning plastic or anything Is this right? Is this how they do it? I literally never curl my hair. Oh, it took a curl. Cute. I'm not the best curler in the world, but it did take a light curl, and that's actually a pretty good one for me. Oh, look at that. I like that. Okay, so it takes the light curl. That's great. That means no matter what we cut it, we can kind of, you know, get some styles down. So this is great. Uh, let's get this one off. Try on the other one quick so that I can let you guys get back to your day and then I can get ready to see you guys soon again in the next video. Much love. See you in a minute. Gotta love it. I thought I'd hop on here, guys, and let you guys know I'm for how I'm storing them. Like I said, first time ever. I'm just kind of keeping the bag that it came in. Uh, they, 
in the future, I'm sure we'll be cutting it. So I want to keep it straight. Otherwise, I think about maybe braiding it or something. Um, let me know uh, if you guys use wigs or are you if you're a veteran at this, let me know what you guys think. And even better, let me know what you guys think as far as um, after these ones. I want to get some human hair colored ones for hair coloring. Um, I know I can you can use like for the synthetic ones. I'm sure you can use like um, what do you call it? Like fabric dye and all kinds of stuff. But for what I want to do, I really want it as close to human hair as possible, as light as possible. So we can do some maybe bleach and toning. And then I have a color that I really want to do that's going to take a long time that I specifically need a mannequin head to do. Um, because I just know I physically won't be able to do it myself in the amount of time that I'd need to. And I'm, But I'm really looking forward to it. So just let me know you guys' opinions on some human hair wigs too. These are my first ever wigs. I'm a beginner and we're going to do a lot of hair cutting on them. And thank you to my subscriber that recommended it because I'd actually shopped at Timu before, but I don't know why I didn't think of looking up wigs there first of all the places, especially for something where we're just going to be having fun and chopping them up. So here's our next one. My Billie Eilish looking kind of top here. Um, I just really liked it. When I picked these out, I tried to get them as all one length as possible, as long as possible for more haircuts and um, try to get no bangs. And uh, that was the kind of things I was looking for in our first wigs. And then I also tried to uh, make sure like the color choices that I had were so that we could maybe make sure that we could really see the layers. So this one's dark, but I wanted to make sure that we had one as close to like natural kind of colors possible for any of you that are doing a haircut to see how like layers might stand out in this kind of hair. So I'm really happy with the color of this one. And um, now that I've been doing a little more research, I'm actually really happy with the netting and everything on this one. So not bad for my first pickouts, I don't think. Um, and so yeah, that just so you guys know, that was a big reason why I picked these ones that I picked is because of what we were gonna be doing with them. So um, let's get to it on this one, because I'm, so this is the front of this one. So I'm thinking that this one is probably going to be, I'm probably going to wear a wig cap with this one, but I honestly don't think you have to with this one. I know the ones with wig clips, it's no cap and you got to have natural hair because you're going to need that hair to clip on. I just realized that I put that other one on and I didn't use the clips. Oh, no wonder it, it was like that. Okay. Well, now we know guys, next time I didn't properly put the clips in the front of my hair, which is why it was pulling all over. But I just wanted to get an idea for the haircut. So when we do the haircut, we'll make sure it's installed properly. I can't get over this wig and looking at it. It's actually very realistic, um, even though it's synthetic. So I'm having a little bit too much fun. So I'm going to scroll. This one I did notice. So here is it's like kind of like a mesh cap. And then on the back of it, it's got these kind of like little stretchy bra strap looking things. Kind of like the other one that you know, are going to be what you use to kind of pull and adjust it. And I'm trying to see where those would clip into. I think they just clip right into here. That's got to be it. Okay, so there's like little openings in like the ribbon here. And I guess you just kind of hook them in there once you get it where you want it. So that'll be good to know when I do that. And, you know, I got the wig caps, but now... I know you need the wig caps for a lot of other wigs. I, I don't believe you need it for this one either, but I bought them because I didn't know quite what I was doing. I do, I think you might need wig cap for this one. Either way, we got one. Oh, there's like a hole for your bun, I'm guessing. I don't know what I'm doing. This will be fun. It's gotta be for your hair, right? <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Okay. Love it. Love it. There's, there's an awesome cartoon for people like me. Oh, this, this makes it. I love that so much, honestly. Okay. Well, if I would have just looked at that first. So they're saying with their hair down. Doesn't say which is the top. I'm guessing that's, this is the front. Breathable, that's why I got it. There's other wig caps. I think this is the one that goes on my head. It's more elastic. -y. So it looks like she's just putting this straight up. All the way. She's going like this. <laughs> okay. And I've got a necklace. So 
is a here we got a necklace and I got a lip ring on my and she just puts it on like that my earring ah if you guys have earrings be careful and then I, all my hair is okay then all my hair is through that I see oh and then you stretch it all the way down what the this is not easy when you can't feel your hands <laughs> looks like you stretch all the way down and just tuck, and then just tuck it under there I can't see or feel my hair guys okay this isn't quite turning out how I thought it would oh wait it's in, it's in there whatever Get my hair flat. That flat, it's flat enough for me. All right, here we go. Let's do it, people. I, I don't, I feel like, no, I feel like the upside down thing was the way to go, though. Maybe I'm supposed to like put it here and then go upside down. <sighs> I'm not even on camera. That didn't work out very well. Maybe you go back to front. I'm going back to front this time. I feel like that was the worst decision. No? Oh, it's just because it's loose, I think. Yeah, so this one's loose, but that's fine because I have a huge head, so it's going to be... Okay. And I did not get my hair in my wig cap properly. There we go. So that's cool. Get in there. I, I film one of my stretchy straps. This would be so much easier if I could feel my hands. It's like I got to just blindly it's like wearing the world's thickest gloves and trying to find something and then we got a little strippy strap it's like right by the ear which is nice so that's just gonna you know go back there but i don't need to tighten it right now for what we're doing Whoa. this is definitely gonna be like a learning i can see why this is fun though to a point all right so i don't know if you guys can see i know i already showed you the inside of the cap it's hard to see because it's dark on dark. Because there's another strap here that you know would hook in the back. So if you tighten it, this wig is actually pretty cool. As far as like, I think this one will work good as well for what we're gonna do. Um, I'm excited to try all the other different kinds of wigs as we go, though. To be honest with you, because these are this fun. Oh, my arms are so tired. I could not make this like my daily thing. My arms are tired. This one tangled pretty quick. Um, I'm sure I'll put stuff in. I'm sure I'll end up putting stuff. Oh, this one got tangled fairly quickly. That's really tangled. Like I'm gonna have to like get a real brush. Okay. Okay, well this one tangles more. So the info I got on this one, here's the pricing while I try to make myself presentable. Um, this one was the uh, hook elastic that I write down for this one. So this one's 25.5 inches, and I believe the lengths are pretty accurate. Um, but I'm not really here for... I'm just letting you guys know the info. I'm not really here to review Timu's wigs because, you know, Timu's a pretty loaded, loaded topic, and I just wanted, you know, wigs for a decent price for hair cutting. And, um, but, you know, as far as what I paid and what I got... I'm not unhappy um this is what i was looking for and so that's fine may uh i'm not sure about their human hair wings we'll have to try that i'm sure maybe you know the descriptions could start to get a little bit clouded there but because i have in my experience certain things i bought didn't quite come like i thought they would but i feel like that was on me for not reading <laughs> description okay i think i think this is on good enough um so this is what the other one would be for hair cutting. It is shorter. So the other one it said it was 26. It's, it says it's shorter by 0.5, but I don't know, the other one seemed a lot longer. Uh, this one also said it was heat resistant. I think this one was only seven dollars and nineteen cents. They did have they did have it described though as a like they wrote it right here, <laughs> uh, beginner's friendly. I feel like Morticia, uh, beginner friendly wig. So that's nice. That's what I was going for because I didn't want to just jump in without playing around a little bit with some beginner wigs and figuring out how it all works, right? 
Um, and it does say it's heat resistant, but it's still synthetic. Um, this one is, it, it's just synthetic is the description. The other one was also just synthetic fiber. The other one's synthetic fiber, this one's synthetic. I'm sure it's probably the same thing. Um, you could look up, you could look up more detail. They should have like the material that it's made out of. <clears throat> but like I said, I did look up the, you're not going to want to go over like 280 degrees on heat styling. And it didn't look like you needed to on these because the other one, I, I, Curled it just fine, better than my own hair even. Um, so you wouldn't need high heat. And it, this is described as a costume wig. And the review was actually 4.9 stars, and um, which isn't bad. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little breakdown on that. So this is the other one we're gonna use to cut hair. And I have to set up, uh, when we do, I'm probably gonna set up differently, maybe like, I have to get that cheap stand sooner than I thought so I can set this up over here so you guys can see me from that way so that we can do the hair cutting. Uh, I probably will. That'd be a nice change of scenery for you guys. So here we go. This is fun. I haven't had my hair natural in a few years, so this is kind of different. So this will be fun to cut. What cut do you guys want to see on this one? Um, I think we can probably pull off all kinds of stuff, really. And I'm glad that we can do a light heat so you guys want to see some of those styles with the flares coming out and everything you know that's that's when i wanted to make sure that we could at least do a light styling um here's the back the way i did my hair this time is a lot more comfortable i could see how this wouldn't be so bad if you had to can you guys see it all the way down okay i could see how this wouldn't be like so bad to have to wear if you were a day-to-day -day wearer um if you were trying to say whoa about that that was terrifying. So here we go. Um, let's do a quick style and let me know any haircuts on this one. Same thing as last time. It's all about one length. Um, whatever, whatever you guys want to see. Otherwise, I guess I'll make the executive decision. I do know that we're going to start with the Brad Mono tutorial on the, the butterfly cut. Someone, one of you had asked me. Okay, this one might. That one smells more like a basketball when you put the heat on it. That's at 265. This one said, this one did say though, that it was uh, heat resistant. So it should be fine with a light heat. But it did kind of smell like a basketball or something. I mean, when it says heat resistant, maybe that's not. It's not taking your curl as good as the other one. We'll keep that in mind. Let's see if when we cut it, we can at least maybe flare up the ends. Survey says. Oh, wait, we don't. Oh, you know what? And actually, it looks like we can maybe, but it's not taking much. But I did forget when I was reading up on this. They do say you should probably use like a heat and humidity kind of blocker on your synthetic wigs because you are using heat. Um, oh, that smells so good. Thank you, Lang. Thank you, Lang Thermal Magique. Magique, Magique. I'm not gonna turn the heat higher than this though. It's on 260. Okay, so that helps some decisions. So we got a light wing and that looks nice and everything. So that's gonna kind of pave the way for my haircuts. So if you guys want one, we can do a lot more styling and do more crazy stuff. I'd say probably the darker green wig. And then for the other haircuts, you guys want to do this one. And we'll just chop, chop, chop until there's nothing left to chop. Eventually, I'll probably do my own. But um, for right now, I'm really trying to grow it out. Like we're talking. Uh, I I had my hair short like my whole life, and <laughs> for like the last ten years or so, I'm like honestly, I'm trying to get it like, well, maybe about this long. I, I think if I got it like this long, I'd, I'd probably be okay chopping it all the way off again. But I, I really just want to live that life like one more time uh, before I, you know, hit my 40s. And because uh, at, at that point, like I honestly, having long hair drives me nuts. But it's it's more of a, a canvas for coloring my hair. So I kind of put up with it. But I don't know how much longer I'll be able to, to do it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll start placing bets, guys. Let's see which summer I'm going to lose it and chop my hair off. I do. Here's a picture of me with short hair. I do miss my short hair. I had my hair short since I was like junior high or whenever I, I think fifth grade is when I cut it off. I had it long one more other time. 
and you guys heard that story in one of my other videos but yeah i've been trying to grow it back since then all right there we go i guess that's it um let me know what color cuts you want to see on these synthetic bad boys and uh also I didn't really see the point in trying to get natural light on these or anything because this video was just about trying these on for the first time for hair cutting. It is fun. I do just, I'm so used to doing this with my hair though. I think that's the problem I would have is I'm so used to fluffing it for volume and that's not something I don't think we want to be doing with these. But once again, they're for hair cutting. So I think this will work out great. I didn't tighten it so you can see it's pulling back. But when we do do them, I'll make sure that I have it properly you know, in all the right spots, because obviously for haircut, that's pretty important. I'm doing a big no-no right now. I'm crossing my legs. If I was cutting hair, that'd be a big no-no. So, all right. Give me a second. Let's get this. Do I look like another person? Do I look mysterious? Do I look like the high school version of myself that I read books and no one wanted to talk to you because I didn't look like you wanted to talk to you either? But I really wouldn't have minded because I love you all. Jesus, my boy. I thought I was going for a piano or what. I just thought this was cute. See you in a minute. All right, people. What do you think? How are we doing? Where are we at? Obviously, you can tell by the condition of my hair and me. We're probably looking at a styling video, um, a nice hair wash and style of video. Uh, any comments on that for that or opinions? Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, I got a few ideas backed up that you guys have mentioned, so um, I'll probably start with those, but. You know, also, just go ahead and add comments. How are you, by the way? I feel like I've just been rushing through this uh, video and I'm out of coffee and that made me a little scroll. Oh, I am out of coffee. That's fine. I don't need any more. I'll live. All right, so I'm just going to fluff this up while I talk to you. This is driving me nuts. Okay, let's see, guys, real quick. I just, I want to scroll. It's still warm. Not warm enough. <laughs> All right, we're, I'm over that then. So, anyways, put all my stuff away so I can concentrate on you, beautiful people. How are you all? And what did you think? What haircuts do you guys want to do? And I guess uh, my hair wants to be, my hair's feeling left out. It wants, oh God, it's so soft after dealing with those. Here's where mine's at. We're getting there. You yeah. know? Actually, comparing to those, it's not too far off. Oh, I cannot wait for the next colors I'm going to do already, but I'll just try to enjoy this while I can. So, anyways, what'd you guys think? I'm repeating myself in the meantime. What'd you guys think? Which ones? What cuts do you want to do? Uh, which one? I, I'm thinking, honestly, for the butterfly cut, maybe we should go with the, the green one, the all dark green one, the one color. Uh, cause I'm going to be honest with you guys when I just took that other one off, just from kind of messing around with it a little bit, I know it's just for hair cutting, but it's insanely tangled and the other one's not. So that's maybe something I'll keep in mind. And you know, with everything, just like when I tell my kids, like with food and stuff, just try everything once. And if you don't like it, then you know, you don't like it, but you won't know unless you try. Right. So as with that, same with, uh, buying these, I won't know what I like or what works for me. Cause everyone's different until we keep trying. So for me, I am actually not disappointed. I'm pretty happy with this whole scenario of the wigs going on and I do feel better. Um, I was already tired, so I don't think it helped that. But, uh, as far as I can see why people would have fun, like, um, putting them on, you know, and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people actually need them as well. My mom would actually probably get a kick out of this. Uh, if she were with us today, because I remember back when she uh, when she was diagnosed with her leukemia, I remember like halfway through her trying to make light hearted of it and talking about how she's excited because when she lost her hair, she could do like punky, punky different wigs, kind of like my hair. So she just kind of live that life, you know, she was real big on like big curls in her hair or just straight one or the other. She had beautiful thick brown hair but the irony of it was if you want to call it that is after like honestly i think it was 15 years uh, she never lost all of her hair it's crazy um just some in the back towards the end you know it got real thin and uh but our hair i guess our hair is just so thick it just you know she was losing hair but she never got to you know that that fun little part i guess you call it that positive spin on it so um, I think, uh, I'll try to keep like her in spirit and in mind when I start coloring and cutting some of the, 
you know, human hair wigs. And I'll just kind of try to embody that, maybe. I don't know. I just uh, I was just thinking about that right now. Sorry, I didn't mean to go down that far down memory lane. But um, I think this is cool, and it's fun, and I'm excited. And it's, like, totally a way for me to just you know, busy myself when I can't do it to my hair. And also, um, because of like my condition and stuff, like I can't, you know, I don't have a way to like have me go do people's hair. And I also don't, you know, it's not really happening for people for me to do their hair here. So, you know what, this, this has been like a real, real gift, you guys. Like I had no idea how much this would mean to me. I mean, I, I knew it meant a lot to me, but I didn't know, like just, uh, I don't know how happy I became it became such an easy part of my life you know hanging out with you guys and doing this I guess and I didn't realize how much it would like help me on on my journey and like my path and like what I'm going through because like I know I'm always like positive 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 but like you know even when things are going good you know I get stuck in my head and, and things can be real hard you know even even and, it, and we shouldn't beat ourselves up that things are going good and we still like have we still have feelings because God knows I spend like my whole life trying to figure out why I act the way I do or why I feel the way I do. And it just makes it worse. So I'm really just trying to focus on just who cares why. Just just more maybe focus more on, on the feeling and not why, I guess. I, I'm totally off track. But um, either way, I think what I was trying to say was you guys are, are, are great. And uh, I just really, really thankful. And uh, I'm totally going squirrel because I'm getting kind of like overwhelmed with the happy emotions which is a good thing but it's also definitely making my brain just kind of drift off actually let's take a moment for all of you in general <sighs> yeah yep i feel much better i hope you do too <laughs> I, I feel much better for you guys. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> all right. um, I think I'm at the point where I could be on here all day. I'm probably going to forget a million things I wanted to say to you guys. But luckily, the beauty of all this is I get to see you guys again in a couple of days or this week or whatever. Either way, I'll be back and I hope you'll be back. And I hope I'll be back. I hope we'll all be back. Um, and I know it sounds stupid, but I just I really feel like, you know, y'all right there. And I just want to like just send out all this like positivity i just sound so cheesy i know but it's like ah I just i don't know how to like do a universal hug just send it out of the universe it'll probably look like i'm taking it but whatever um gosh yeah i'm i'm just overwhelmed with how great you guys are and um this is great and everything's great and i'll probably get off of here and have some kind of a uh, a meltdown or maybe i won't who knows because like my emotions have just been like this all week insane but one thing i do know is that in this present moment right now my cheeks hurt from smiling thinking about all you guys and i'm just i love just throwing hands at you i used to not be able to like lift my arms at all honestly for like over a year i couldn't even put my hands together so i, I won't lie that when i'm able to do this <laughs> and do this and do this i get a little excited as well um, but I think a lot of this is just me thinking about all you guys' comments and just all of you in general and all of you that I maybe haven't, you know, met per se. Um, it's just, it's just a beautiful thing, man. It's just a beautiful thing. That's about all I got out of it. Much love. I better go post this for you guys so that we can get to hang out a little bit while it's still Sunday. And, uh, here's to a new week and a new day and a new chapter of a new minute, a new chapter of a new minute. I love books. I'm lost. Much love, guys. Stick around. Subscribe if you haven't. If you have, can't wait to see you again next time.